So yesterday I saw this little video about a Guinness World Record of the biggest fireworks in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. And I was thinking, well, wouldn't it be a fun little exercise to try and recreate that in Fireworks Mania? I think so. Let's give it a go. So first off, let's do a little research. We know the shell is 62 inches. Let's figure out what that is in centimeters because that's what we use here in Denmark. Secondly, we know the shell weighs 2,500 pounds. Let's also convert that to kilograms, which we use here in Denmark. And if I don't get it in kilograms, I have no idea how much it is. And the last piece of the puzzle, we know that the guy who built it is called Tim. That will come in handy later. Let's fire up Blender and create a shell model. Going back to our research, we remember that the original Tim shell was 157 centimeters. So let's make it 160, just because we can. Let's select some faces here and drag out this little bottom thing that I don't know the name of for this shell. Let's then be a little confused about how we align the outer vertices here with the one in the middle, only to give up and go back and set it manually to minus two. Then for the shell to look a little more beautiful, we need to apply some texture to it. I pick one of the textures I already use in the game and just select a brownish cardboard color. Then we export the model and take it into Unity only to find out that we exported cameras and light. So let's redo that and get it into Unity in the right way. So with this ginormous shell in the game, which actually looks like an air balloon, let's go into Unity and apply some logic to this beast to make it do something. Because this is just a fun little test, I take a shortcut of just copying the rocket slammer as it already behaves like I want this shell to behave in this little sample. So keep in mind that this is just for this little sample that I'm doing it this way. In the real game, the shell would work in another way and behave in another way, just like shells do in real life. But let's set up this bad boy by first giving it a weight. Remember it was 2500 pounds and in kilograms that's 1133 kilos. But because we can, let's make it 1200. Let's also set up some colliders so it can interact in the physics world and also so we can interact with it and ignite it. This beast also needs a name and what better name to give it than the name of the creator of the real one. So. Let's call it Tim. And now to some of the more interesting stuff. Because this is where we set up the physics force settings. First of all, we need to set the explosion effect that this beast will apply to the surrounding objects when it goes off. Secondly, we need the red sphere you see here, which is the range of where this fireworks will ignite other fireworks and apply physics forces to surrounding objects. And lastly, the blue sphere, which is the area where the player will be affected by this shake effect when it goes off. So let's take it for a spin and see it in action. Well, that kind of worked, the camera shaked and everything, but the fuse was all misplaced and the same was the thruster. So let's fix that. Now we're talking. Let's give that a try. So let's ignite it and turn around here. Truster is fine, except it didn't fly. Luckily I know why, because this bad boy is so heavy we need to apply much more force to make it fly. So let's boost up the afterburner thruster thingy here. Well yeah, we have liftoff now, but it's a little too slow. So let's give it a little more power. Well, it's better, but as good old Danny used to say... If something isn't behaving as expected, just add more power. See, that's more like it. Now, the next obvious thing is that the explosion is a little vague. It needs to be bigger, it needs to be more powerful, and more like the real thing. So let's queue up some time lapse of some fiddling around with the settings in the particle system in Unity. Mm -hmm. 
So about an hour in this little experiment, I had an effect that was kind of okay. It doesn't look exactly like the one Tim built and fired off in Colorado, but it was a good enough visual effect for this little experiment. So with visuals in place, what is lacking now is the sound. So let's find a new one. And I think we have a winner. After a few more tweaks, it's time to see it all combined for the first time. As a first attempt of seeing it all combined, I think it worked out pretty good. However, it was at this point I realized that I exported the model too big from Blender. I don't know what happened, but it wasn't one meter and 60 centimeters anymore. It was kind of two meters or something like that. So I needed to scale it down to actually be the size that I wanted. So now it also fits much more into the game. Before it was kind of over the fence there in the background. Um, now it looks a little more like it does on the pictures in real life. So there you have it. We created a replica of the world's biggest fireworks. Actually, this one was a little bigger, if you remember. Wink, wink. But we did it and it was a fun little experiment. Some of you are already on your way to the comments asking if this firework will come into the Fireworks Mania demo currently on Steam. And the short answer is no, it won't. The thing is that even though it looks cool and seems fun, it's simply too crazy for the game as it is now. It's too massive, it's too big. And I know some of you say, well, we don't care, we just want this big one. Well, you have to wait for the final game, because in the final game I might consider putting either this one or something similar to this one into the game. But it will have to be with some limitations, I guess, because it's a bad boy and it makes a lot of damage to stuff and takes up a lot of room in the sky. So see this video as something that could show up in the final game. I can't promise anything yet, but something like this could very well end up in the final game. Also see this video as a little peek behind the curtain of how things are done because this is basically how new fireworks are created and it is something that I soon need to start up on creating some more normal fireworks for the final game. And if you just watched this video and are thinking what game is this? Where do I get it? What is it? What did I just watch? What? 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 Well, I'll leave a link in the description for the game, which is called Fireworks Mania. You can get a free demo on Steam right now. That doesn't contain this big one, as I just said, but there are other fireworks in there that you can play around with. The full game is uh, planned to be released sometime 2020, most likely at the end of 2020. So that's all I had for now. Remember to leave a like if you like this video. Remember to watch it all the way through. Leave a comment. And if you want to follow this journey of me building this game because you think it looks awesome and fun, hit the subscribe button and remember to check the little notification bell so you get an email or a notification whenever I release a new video. I think I will end off this video with me fooling around the game with this little bad boy. Until next time, see you and take care. And remember, fireworks is not a toy.